Welcome to the 2024 Hungarian Grand Prix predictions. I'm Sogan, and I'm joined in once again by Captain AGX. Hello, hello, hello. It is, it's an exciting one because I feel like for the first time ever, I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is the point of the season that we've been really, really waiting for. It's a lot of themes that have the chance for to fight at least for the podium at the moment we have also four teams there some teams better some teams worse it's like changing every single race pretty much the backing order is <laughs> and yeah i generally have no idea how it's going to pan out this weekend it's very exciting like even though we have both championships pretty much over constructors maybe not if if press keeps his seat towards the end of the season but I mean, yeah, driver satellite is pretty much secure, and constructors is uh, a very, very difficult task to get from from the challenging teams. Yep. Um, let's get the spreadsheet so I don't forget. Here it is. I'm giving our predict predictions. Uh, if I remember correctly, I started last time, so now it's your turn. Uh, your P5 from qualifying. Oh, okay. My P5. I'm going to go for. Well, I don't think it's risky. I think uh, he's been doing well so far this season. I'm going to go for Carlos Sainz, uh, which is probably my most normal pick. I should warn everyone. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, oh, you went very bold last time, and it almost worked out. Unfortunately, there were some some thingies with the strategy and, and stuff that uh, I didn't mean that. You get you got no points for the podium in the end, even though it was literally three Brits in the mm -hmm. top three places after qualifying, and you predicted the British top three. It was yeah, very bad luck for you, but still, you, you, you outscored me by like three points that weekend. I'm trolling now by six now, and I'm gonna gonna be conservative, so I'm gonna go with uh, the H3 for P5. Okay, no, I was thinking about the H3. I can't lie, I definitely did think about him. Uh, he's 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 done well thus far this season, so I, I was definitely considering him an option. Um, I'm going to go for his teammate in my P4, though. Uh, so I think, uh, I don't think the McLaren is going to suit this track as well as it did for maybe the past few. Uh, so I think that he's going to end up in P4. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an interesting thought. It's, it seems like McLaren actually is like the, the most well-rounded car as it seems like to work on every single circuit so far, uh, ever since the Miami upgrades, obviously. But, I mean, anything can happen. Now we have a Mercedes team that legit was the fastest car in the, in the last race, and obviously Max is always there. So, uh, never know. Uh, maybe Ferrari can even come back after, well, um, not the greatest run of races, let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. True, true, yes. My P4, I'm gonna. I don't know if it, this is this is probably right in terms of like the prediction itself, but it feels like I'm underestimating him considering what kind of circuit he, it is. I think he got like nine poles on this circuit and putting him before and before. Mm. Right? It feels yes. it, it feels very wrong, but I also don't. I still feel like this is very realistic as well. So I don't know. I'm just gonna go with it. I will hint at something here. You and I are going to be very different. <laughs> uh, that's all I'll say. That's fair. Um, I don't know whether that's a good sign or not. <laughs> could be, could not be. Uh, my P3, uh, I'm going to go for a shock. I'm going for Max to step in P3. Uh, he's obviously okay. very quick around the circuit. Uh, could wow. definitely do well here. But I am not sure. I just think maybe a P3 is what, what I'm looking at. Interesting, because I also wanted to go with Max, and now I don't really, I don't no, really want don't. to. It's, uh, that would be like... But also, it's like the, the, the exact position I wanted to predict him in. If he gets P3, mm -hmm. and I'm not predicting a P3, then I'll be so mad at myself. If uh, put me in a really bad position, i got to go with Max. It's just I really feel like it's going to be a P3. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, yeah, yeah. That's uh, I, I, I think that's a good take. 
<laughs> so it's the same as yours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm going to go for uh, Russell in P2. Uh, I was uh, excited to see him around this track. He has done a lot of P1s. I was very tempted to put him P1. But uh, yes, not, not to be today. I was like looking at it, all right, I should go and get, put Piastri or Paul, and then I forgot you didn't put the one driver instead of yet. So, <laughs> okay, uh, my P2 is Lando. Um, okay. Another good qualifying, just not quite there. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, and then my P1 is, of course, Sir Lewis Hamilton. I think he'll be coming off uh, quite fly from Silverstone, and he's just really good at this track. Yep, that's completely true. And uh, I feel like I would rather want to have your predictions section. <laughs> when, oh, yeah, whatever. Um, last time I, I went. Predictions are based. <laughs> yeah, yeah, last time I went very, very conservative. I actually wanted to like get points, but I ended up with one point from this entire week. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Russell Bull position. Um, uh, for the. For the third, well, actually, no, on the second weekend, because, yeah, that was Austria as well. Yeah, it would, that would be, f- like, three pole positions from the last five or six races, which is, like, also a pretty decent number. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 I think that's a good shout. He's been really good in yep. the quality. Yeah, we saw... That's good in the race. Uh, we, we usually saw both of them get pole positions there in the in the dominant years of Red Bull, obviously, that last, last year and the year before. We actually have uh, haven't had a, a Red Bull on pole positions there since 2020. <laughs> it's just an interesting thing to say, considering how many wins they got ever since that that year. Mm. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's an interesting qualifying order. But, yeah, but we'll see. Obviously, it's very unpredictable, and uh, and if it can happen, last year we saw uh, Joe in P5. <laughs> so that was interesting. Uh, yeah, um, we get to the indeed, Grand Prix. indeed. Get to the Grand Prix with your P5. My P5, I am going to... Hmm. Oh, this is a tricky one. I'm going to keep playing it safe, go for science. I'm very tempted to... No, no, you know what? Last second Piastri pull up. Last second of Piastri. I'm going to go for Piastri P5. All right, All right, pretty, pretty decent. Uh, I'm gonna go with the pole center, George Russell in P5. Oh damn! Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> not the greatest. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen? Uh, the average George Russell from pole position race. Cause, <laughs> true, true. I mean, but it, but it is hungry. It is incredibly difficult to overtake. To be fair, he started on pole in Canada, finished P3, started on pole in Silverstone, DNF. It's not a, not a luckiest starting position for him. Uh, I feel like it's going to happen again. Uh, very unfortunate race, maybe some some early damage or a uh, bad strategy, or maybe just his own mistake, as that's still a thing nowadays. Fair enough, fair. You know what? I can't, I can't hate it, can I? Uh, my P... Or is going to be. I'm going to stay with Norris. I uh, think, yeah, I'm going to stay with Norris and P4. All right. All right. This is, this is bad for me. I actually wanted to go with Norris and P4. I just stole another one. I'm going to go with P4 now. I'm, I'm going to put in. Uh... Should put me first. This is what's happening. Okay, I'm going to put Piastri. I'm going to put Piastri, actually. Piastri for P4. Okay, okay. Yes, true. You know what? Good shout. Good shout. I like I like that shout a lot. Um, <laughs> I think my P3. I think I'm I'm very similar to you in the fact that I think it's uh, it's it's just Russell in the race has not uh, done well recently. So I'm gonna go Russell P3. All right. Uh, yes, I I just think uh, he's gonna you know drop a spot. Pretty, pretty fair. Uh, solid predictions. Uh, a bit more optimistic than mine. Lando SP3 just switched up the McLarens after seeing your prediction. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, another another Lando uh, missed opportunity for a win. Like, like we saw 
well, a lot of time this season already. Uh, I, I respect it, I respect it. Um, my e pick, I'm going for Verstappen. Uh, I think Verstappen has done exponentially well. Uh, my sort of uh, feeling for the race is the Mercedes, I think uh, they showed in Silverstone, they're very good towards the, they pulled in together very quickly. Uh, so that Lewis could draft off uh, Russell, and uh, I think that will similarly happen. But later down in the race, the stepper will get Russell. All right, so I'm predicting uh, Mercedes to be the fastest car again, I assume. Uh, it's more that I just think they're very good at quality, and I think this race is just not one for overtakes. It's hungry. Well, it often shocks me. <laughs> uh, it's a well, kind of circuit, like, yeah, you know, it's very short, but also has a has a lot of core. I don't know how, how to call it. It's just very specific. Like it, it, it's referred to as as Monaco without balls, but also you can overtake there, which uh, is something you cannot do in Monaco. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I've been there twice already. Both of times, which were very interesting races, uh, I kind of enjoyed it, but still, yeah, not not my favorite circuit, and uh, not the greatest circuit for overtaking them, definitely. Um, P two for me is uh, Lewis Hamilton, another you know, solid pole position. Um, yeah, from P four to P two, the a good race, not quite a win, but a very good race from Lewis. Yeah, that's a good shot. That is a very good shot, I've got to say. Um, I, I, I don't believe he'll get that many overtakes, but still. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, my P1 is obviously doing something. See him yet. How do this happen? Do you have a very shooken up top of your field, don't yeah. you? Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a very, very tense strategic battle. I just feel like McLaren is going to screw it up as what well, as they always do, and then Russell is just going to be a victim of uh, of bad luck probably. Uh, yeah, Max, yeah. Max Max for the win, it's pretty obvious based on my predictions so far. Um, I feel like he's going to return to the top side of the podium. Because it's Max, it's twenty twenty four. We are not quite yet out of the Red Bull domination era, and even even if he doesn't have the fastest car, still up there on the podium. I feel like this this track could suit them more. Then Silverstone, so uh, perhaps uh, Max can just climb up to the victory. Like you can see, the two per, the two drivers that I, I've made uh, that I've put up, like uh, moving up for the field, like doing actual overtakes, are the two uh, <laughs> the, the, the two yeah. pro, arguably two best drivers on the grid right now. Yeah, and um, they've done it before. They've definitely done it before. Um, I think of the. I think it was two seasons ago where they just obliterated the field in the end. Yeah, <laughs> like the, yeah, those two at Hungary chance. are just a different kind of. Yeah, <laughs> uh, they're just very good around here. Uh, fastest lap. That's uh, that's a pretty much RNG point, but <laughs> go for it. Uh, fastest lap. Oh gosh. Uh, what a. This is literally RNG. Yeah. Even, even Logan Sarge get the fastest lap. I'm gonna go science. I'm gonna go science. Oh, good pick. Interesting. Uh, he did it hmm. last time. I think he might do it again. Okay, I'm gonna go with Russell. That way, he like I, I feel like the top five is pretty much set. So they're gonna be like a far out of the entire field. Uh, enough for Russell to make a extra pit stop and bit bit for soft to the end, bro. Perhaps. Yeah. Um. Pretty, pretty similar race to the one we had last year as well, with the Ferraris really lacking behind the the, the other three teams, and Aston's yeah. being like the even further further back in the P9 and P10, it was just a huge gap again to the midfield. So I feel, I feel like it's going to be a similar breaking order around here this year as well. Yeah, definitely. Same. I definitely think uh, basically I like to you in that situation. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, so pleasing process team. Another driver team yes. this time. <laughs> I have no idea. You know what? It's it's a difficult one, isn't it? Um Do I go for them again? I I think I remember last season Alpine just had like three races in a row where they did terribly, and I remember Hungary being one of those yeah, races. Yeah, they literally doubled the NF at the, at the turn one. Terrible <laughs> bad luck, so I'm literally yeah. going off that. I'm going the same thing <laughs> this time. To be that's, fair, that's my, yeah. that's my thinking. Yeah, to be fair, there was more on bad luck than the team flopping at, at the time, but yeah, I, 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 I get what you're saying. Um, yeah. Alpine are just a very good pick, no matter the race. I'm going to go with a team that I don't want to do, don't want it to do badly. I'm going to go with Haas. Their, their recent run of form has been very impressive. I feel like there's going to be a turning point and I just have going to have a bad race. Because uh, yeah. uh, I, I, even though I would love this, this momentum that they have to continue and uh, perhaps for a look at a podium, a rare odd one now and uh, just gets there in a crazy race. Uh, I would love to see that, but I just feel like Haas cannot really maintain the momentum in development. Even though they've done well in the past few races, I just... It's Haas. I I, I cannot have high hopes of them. And even <laughs> even if I am proved completely wrong and Haas are the, like, the best team in the Hungary game pole position to win, I'm still happy, even though I lost the point. It's still Haas doing that. There you go. You, you yeah. cheated the system. Yeah. He's mind game to the system. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so my least impressive driver, I'm going to go for uh, I think a pretty solid one in terms of album. Oh, I feel which, like uh, this wants a... me to do. I'm a big fan of album. Wow, it's a, like the first time I, I've seen you picking album for the least immersive driver. Yeah, I love Albon a lot. Uh, so it does have me to do. But I'll be honest, uh, I realised I should have picked uh, Williams for least impressive team and uh, decided that uh, I'd just compensate by putting Albon as least impressive driver. Okay, fair. Fair, fair enough. Um, okay, my least impressive driver would be the exactly the same logic as has. Um, if he doesn't get if he doesn't get points, I finish like P14. I think that's a pretty safe point there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Especially like yeah. after the last few weekends, like he's been getting points after points, and it's, it's actually ridiculous. Like he's he's like one or two points behind Lastro and Pita in the in the draft championship. Like <laughs> imagine before the start of the season thinking that a Haas could be like Pita in the driver's championship. That's like actually crazy. Uh, True. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, I'll pay at least in pursuit driver. I don't want to see it, but if I do see it, I actually want to get points for it at least. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, and then most impressive team, I think I only have one pick. Uh, obviously, they did extremely well last week, but I think based on my predictions, it would be Mercedes. Uh, you know, getting a P1, P2, and then finishing the race P1, P3. I think that's a a pretty solid race overall. Yep. Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely could see that being true. And uh, I don't know. I, I feel like it's going to be so close that I can't, can't really determine the fastest car. And I feel like it's going to be more based on results. And based on my own results, I can't really pick a clear, most impressive team out of the top three. So I'm going to go with a midfield team. And I'm actually going to want to go with a team that's usually good in this kind of circuits. Hey, what does this circuit remind me of? It's like slower Spain or something like that. Um, yeah, so it's, it's like a mixture of Spain and Monaco, I'd say. Also, I feel like we could see like a random team popping off out of nowhere. Uh, I don't know. This is actually difficult. What did I think of? Um, yeah, what? Aston Martin, I have no idea. What am I doing? Probably <laughs> the, le the least likely team to get the most impressive team. But you know what? If if Ferrari middle of the road, although I always pick Aston, yeah. so I can't say anything. Yeah, exactly. Like you always pick Aston for the least impressive, and, and they're like never 
they were good. Like the there the last time there was their best weekend like in in a while, and it was still like a P A or P nine. It's it like a little against a P a little P six there, and a stroll uh, maybe even a P ten. So it'll still be pretty pretty interesting if there's no other team that's a clear winner for uh, for this category. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, okay, fair enough. Uh, that's a pretty good list, I'd say. That's fine. I suppose. Uh, right, and then most impressive driver. I think I have to go for Hamilton again, just because again, if he wins, pretty amazing. <laughs> Even I know he won last time, but I don't think he's expected to win, is he? Also, it's it would be like the the first time this season that a team would win three races in a row as well. Yes. With Mercedes yes. winning the last two actually. actually. So yeah, the interesting times. Um my, my most impressive driver would be um, actually I wanna go with like some something something so completely random like like Ocon or bot as well, I don't know. <laughs> um I'm gonna put Daniel Ricardo, I don't know. Uh, it's uh, like the most random thing I could have picked, but you, you know what? Very much going out there for this like, weekend. Yeah, I never know. This weekend might be crazy. It, obviously, it's gonna be a very, very hot. No rain expected, but it's like, yeah, it's pretty much the same weather as as here. It's I'm like, I'm like two hundred kilometers away from the circuit right now. It's a very, very bad temperature. <laughs> like, let, let's be real. I like, got, uh, but yeah, I don't know whether. Does the UK use uh, Celsius? Yes. Yeah. Um, it, it was currently today, it was like 33 degrees outside. Uh, I, was, uh, I was at work for most of it, but it, it's not very good. It's very, very bad for uh, for my health in particular. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I would not really want to go there in these temperatures, uh, hopefully like that. Uh, a lot of people are going to hopefully not but i feel like a lot of people are gonna have some health troubles uh, heat strokes or whatever uh, i don't wish anyone be bad but these temperatures are not pleasant especially uh, when it's a it's a crowded place not too much like there's no water or weather everywhere so uh basically have to buy everything and well, this is not the pleasant place I, even even the last time i was there it was like 28 that was that was it was horrible like in some temperature i was always thirsty and i can imagine like a 32 degree that's gonna be in hungary this year uh i'm gonna be glad i'm gonna watch the watch the race from uh <laughs> from my home that's basically what I'm yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly um okay last one uh extra ball prediction i'm gonna go for Uh, an already that I've already done before, Magnussen banned from Spa, uh, which I believe is our next race, right? Yep. Don't tell me. Yeah, that's in that's in uh, nine days from now as well. I get that blunder. Okay, yeah, Magnussen banned from Spa. I think he's going to pick up that extra point. <laughs> right. Um, well, I keep throwing it out there. You know, I, I will keep throwing it out there because I'm sure it's he absolutely has to get it at some point. Yeah, it's it's very very close, and yeah, I mean, we haven't really seen much of Magnus in the past few races. Like, it's been very invisible, not really doing much. Yeah, thank gosh, much racing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank gosh for the other drivers. He needs to be. Yeah, for his own sake, more than anything. Yeah, true. Um, yep. Yeah. True prediction. Um. Then I'm going to go for it. Um, I hope this is team more than enough. Uh, uh, I feel like there's going to be an announcement of a driver signing for a team, like a, a move okay. in the driver market this weekend. Uh, yeah. That's from uh, the recording of this video to the, the, the end of Sunday, basically. Okay, I like it. I like it. It's an interesting one. Right. 
Do we have obviously yeah, Madden, had the announcement last time with Oli Berman uh, signing for Haas for next year? And uh, it actually, it was a multi year deal as well. Interesting. Um, all right, uh, we're done for the Hungary Grand Prix predictions. We we're hoping for another very good race as we we've been treated quite well in the, in the past few. <laughs> I gotta admit, like even even Austria, even though it was extremely boring for the first fifty laps, then it just got very exciting towards the end. So, yeah, I'm very hopeful. We got to the point where we can be exciting for excited for the races and. Let's keep it going. Um, any final thoughts? Uh, I am looking forward to it. I, I, hope, I hope we get a crazy race, even though, again, it's uh, a circuit that maybe doesn't uh, lend itself to that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hope for the best. Okay. Uh, let's go to wrap this up. But we're going to obviously do two videos next week with the reaction to the Scrum Pre. It's hopefully going to be good. And the predictions for, uh, for the final Grand Prix before the summer break at the Belgian Grand Prix. Um, hopefully we can do both um, next week at the same time. If not, uh, well, bad, bad luck. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to wrap this up, as I said already. Uh, very bad outros. I, I apologize. Um, thank you, everyone who's been watching our videos. It's a lot of fun to do. And uh, see you in the next video. See ya. Bye. <clears throat> Captain, come on. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't, how did you forget? God damn it.